In this video, we will cover clarinet. We will cover assembling clarinet, disassembling clarinet, cleaning it, and the first three notes. Okay? Now, before we open up our clarinet, like mine is, I want to show you how to open our case. Okay? When you open your case, whether it's a hard case like this, or whether you have some kind of cloth case, you will open it with the logo, like this one, this Mirage logo, or this Yamaha logo, the logo will be up. Okay? If the logo is down when you open it, you'll be opening it upside down and the clarinet will fall out sometimes onto the ground depending on how you open it. Okay? So, with the Yamaha or whatever brand it is, Selmer, Jupiter, whatever brand it is, open it with that logo up, open your case, and we're going to build our clarinet from the ground up, from the bottom up. So, take your bell and then take the lower joint. The lower joint is the one that has a thumb rest on the back of it. Front looks like this, okay? Has these four keys on the side, okay? This is our lower joint. When you put it together, notice how I'm grabbing it. This rod, you don't want to put any pressure on, okay? So, with your right hand, you can grab all four of these of these circular keys, okay? And take your bell and just twist it back and forth on there. Okay, now mine's a little tight. If yours is a little tight, or if it's new and you haven't put it together yet, do this. You should have a tube that looks like this. Or it may be a circular tube. It's called cork grease. Take a little bit of cork grease, rub it off on that cork, just like that. Okay, then take two fingers and just rub it in. After you do that, it should go together a lot easier. That went a lot smoother. Notice, I put it together in my left hand, but I still grabbed it on these keys. I did not grab that rod. Okay? Now, if you need to put cork on the rest of your instrument, if you've never put it together, if it's, if it's a new clarinet and nobody's ever put it together or anything, go ahead and pause this video and put, cork, uh, put grease on all those corks like we just talked about. Okay? Now, we're going to put the next part together. Grab the next big joint. It's called the upper joint. Okay? So we have the bell, the lower joint, and the upper joint. Okay? Now, the upper joint, when it goes onto the clarinet, I want you to find a key. On your lower joint, you have this key. It's called a bridge key. Okay? That key bridges to that key. Okay? When you put it together, slide back and forth just a little bit, and then line up those two keys just like that. Okay, the bridge key is under these four side keys. Make sure that's lined up just like that. Okay? And then grab your barrel. Okay? Grab your barrel, twist it on. Only one end goes on. This end won't fit. You'll figure it out as soon as you try to put it on. And then take your mouthpiece. If there's what we call a ligature, it's usually a silver ligature or a, a leather ligature. Whatever it is, just take it off and have just this part of the mouthpiece. Yours may come with a cap, it may not. Just take all that off and have just the mouthpiece. Take that, twist that on, just like everything else we've done. Okay? Now, we have the flat part of our mouthpiece. Okay? This flat part is called the table. That table is going to line up directly with this key on the back side. It looks just like this. Okay, so make sure that lines up perfectly. All right, next thing to do, lay your clarinet down. If you're sitting down, put it on your lap. If you're standing up, put it down on the table. And then get out your reed. Okay, now, this curved part the lighter part is the tip of the reed. This is the most important part. Don't ever let anything touch that other than your tongue. Okay? If this chips, then you have to throw the reed away. If a reed is chipped or bent or broken at all, it needs to be thrown away. If there's a very, very microscopic chip, you gotta throw it away because that will change how it'll play and that will greatly increase your chances for squeaking. Okay? So take the reed. This is the, the heart, the thick part of the reed. 
you want to put the tip in your mouth and just put it in your mouth for a couple seconds and get it wet. While you're getting it wet, grab your ligature. It looks like this. It's either black and leather like this, or it's all silver or all gold, and it's metal. So grab your ligature, and grab your mouthpiece, or grab your clarinet. Okay? Now that your clarinet, or your reed is nice and wet, put that flat part of the reed, okay? We have that curved part up front, and we have the flat part on that. Put the flat part on the table of the mouthpiece. So flat part of the reed on the flat part of the mouthpiece. When you put it on, you're going to want to make sure that those tips are perfectly lined up. Like, see how you can see some black on top of the reed? Yeah, my reed's too low. We need to move it up to about right there. There we go. But now if you notice, it's not on straight, is it? No, it has to be perfectly straight. Okay? So, tip of the reed, tip of the mouthpiece needs to be perfectly lined up. Then, take your ligature. If you have a, if you have a leather one, the screw will go on the back part of the mouthpiece. If you have a metal ligature, the screws will go on the reed side, okay? These leather, leather ligatures don't. Screws go on the other side. Okay, when you do that, make sure your reed stays perfectly in line. Now, when you tighten it, just tighten it where it's snug. The, the more you clamp it down, the harder the reed is gonna be to play, okay? That's what it should look like. Again, this is for a leather ligature. Metal ligature, screws will be on this side, not this side. Okay? And there you go, you've assembled your clarinet. Now, we're gonna talk about playing our first three notes. Okay? Now, how to play the clarinet. What you're gonna do, you're gonna draw your bottom lip back right where this colored portion of your lip meets your normal skin color, the regular the skin color that you have here. That line is what the reed is gonna to touch. So that's gonna to be pulled back, and that reed's gonna go on it, okay? Second part, your teeth, your top teeth are gonna be right here on the mouthpiece. If you notice, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's a slight little indentation for where my teeth landed. That is okay. After a while, calcium does beat out plastic or hard rubber, whichever your mouthpiece is. Okay? There are also mouthpiece patches which you can buy from any music store. Okay? So, top teeth are going on there, and then your corner is just going to close. So when you play, it's going to look like this. Okay? Bottom lip is pulled back, corners are tight and closed so no air leaks out. Top teeth are going to go on that mouthpiece. Now, this is what we're going to do when we play our first note. Listen to me first. We're going to take a breath and just play an open note. So you can have your right hand holding the barrel and the right, uh, sorry, your left hand holding the barrel. Your right hand can use that thumb rest. Okay, so have your thumb, have that thumb rest. That's our first note. Now, before you play, I want you to think about a couple of things. One, when you play, if you get this, if nothing comes out, you're biting too much. Okay? If your parents are watching this with you, Make sure that they don't bite. Okay, parents? That is the biggest trick. Now, if you also get something like a high-pitched squeak, I don't know if I can do it on here. Like that, it just, it sounds like it's very, very stuffy, very hard to get out. Like it comes in bursts, still biting too much. Okay? If it's too loose, which we're probably not going to have, but if it's too loose, it'll be. Did you hear all the extra air that came out? That's because I, I wasn't sealed around the mouthpiece. 100% of that air must go through the mouthpiece. You should not have any leaks whatsoever. Okay, so quick review, bottom lip over bottom teeth, top teeth on the mouthpiece, corners closed. Take a big breath and blow. That's the note you should get. That's what's called our open G. That's our first note. Okay? Again, if it's squeaking, if it's not coming out, we're probably biting too much. If you hear all this air leaking out the side, you can feel it leaking out, your arm sure is too loose. Okay? So, make sure the bottom doesn't bite. Open that jaw. Go. Oh, is what we're looking for. Okay? Try that G one more time. Okay? Now notice, 
my left hand was over my keys. I wasn't pushing any keys, it was just kind of hovering over them, okay? We're gonna do that, so let's try that this time. Right, left hand just hovering over those keys. Ready, still an open G. Ready. All right, now add the thumb on that hole on the back side. Okay, let's play that note. That is our F, otherwise known as thumb F. All right, now that open G that we played was on the second line on the staff. So we have our five lines, it's on that second line right there. Okay, the F was on the space just below that line. Okay, next note we're gonna play is our E. So put your thumb back on that thumb hole and add the first finger on that first key, okay? So we have that first hole covered and a thumb hole covered. That is our E, okay? So let's try that E. Ready? There you go, all right? Now, again, if, you, if your note doesn't sound like mine, check two things. Embouchure, don't bite too much, push lots of air, keep the embouchure open, okay? Second thing is, check your fingerings. A lot of people, when they're playing, they will, if you see that key moving, they'll hit that key. It's because you're hitting this key right here. Don't let that happen. Just that key. See how I have that space between that key and my finger? Okay, we don't want to push that key down. Okay, so that was our G, our F, and our E. Okay? On later videos, I'll, I'll cover more notes and more songs. For now, we're going to talk about disassembling our clarinet, about taking it apart and how to clean it. Okay? So, take your reed, loosen that ligature, take the reed off, okay, and put that reed in a reed case. Now, this is some of the nicer reed cases that are out there. That's okay. It has, has a glass setting for the reed to lay on. That is fantastic to use. Just use a normal Rico, normal Van Doren, Lavaz, any of those reed cases will work. Music stores have a reed case that holds four reeds. It's about $3. It's a fantastic reed case to use, okay? Now, make sure you have everything you need when you're disassembling, okay? We're gonna take it apart in the opposite way we put it together. We started with the bell when we put it together. We're gonna end with the bell, okay? So, take your mouthpiece off. Okay. Now, when you have your mouthpiece, there's two things you can get. There, you have a swab, or you have a clarinet cleaning rod. Okay? Either will work, but I prefer the cleaning rod because it gets more of your spit out and protects the clarinet longer. Take your barrel off. And as you notice, I haven't talked about cleaning the mouthpiece. For the most part, you don't have to worry about that. We'll discuss that a little bit later, okay? Take your cleaning rod, just run it through that barrel once, it's clean. Same thing, remember, when you're taking this apart, make sure you twist back and forth. Don't twist in a full circle, or these keys will actually end up hitting these keys. I'm not gonna do that, because I don't wanna damage my clarinet. So, twist it off, run your cleaning rod through. Now, you actually get two cleaning rods. I just only have one here right now. Okay, just run it through once and it's clean. Same thing with the lower joint. Twist that bell off. You notice I didn't put pressure on that rod. Okay. Run your cleaning rod through that. There you go. Pull it through. That's clean. And for the bell, for the most part, you don't have to worry about it. But what you can do, you can just clean off just where it connects to the upper joint because that's really the only spot you need to worry about. Now, when you put it back together, when you put the case together, make sure you latch both latches because sometimes one latch may not work. Now, you notice I didn't talk about cleaning mouthpieces. Generally, if we play how we're supposed to, you don't have to worry about cleaning the mouthpiece. Generally, every now and then we do have to clean it. When you play your instrument, make sure you do not have food in your mouth. If you just ate dinner, drink a full glass of water, swish the water around in your mouth, rinse out all that food that's in your teeth, because all that food that gets in the instrument will damage the pads, and you'll have to have them replaced probably within the first year. And that is a minimum of a $125 order. 
General music stores charge about $300 or something like that. So please, parents, make sure your children are playing with clean mouths all the time. Even once will begin the process of damaging those reeds. That is all for clarinet. I hope you enjoy. Thank you.